Even if the ISS gets shut down earlier than expected, it's not a big deal. Because a solid backup plan is already underway. And SpaceX is playing an important role in making it happen. Yes, we're talking about Haven 1, a next-gen space station module developed by VAST. SpaceX and VAST have already teamed up to turn this project into the largest and most advanced orbital outpost ever built. Surprisingly, we might witness it all much sooner than expected. So, what exactly is Haven, and when will it launch? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. It's honestly pretty sad, but the International Space Station, a symbol of global cooperation and a major driver of scientific and medical progress, is set to be retired in 2030. NASA has already planned to deorbit it in a controlled manner, aiming for Point Nemo in the South Pacific in January 2031. To be fair, this decision does make sense. The ISS has been running into a series of issues in recent years. One major problem was a coolant leak from the heat exchanger on the Russian Naka module, recorded on October 9, 2023. And let's not forget the ongoing air leak from the Zvezda module that's been slowly causing pressure drops since 2019. The ISS's condition has gotten so bad that even Elon Musk had to speak up, saying, even though SpaceX earns billions of dollars from transporting astronauts and cargo to the ISS, I nonetheless would like to go on record recommending that it be deorbited within two years. To stay ahead of the game, especially with China's Tiangong space station already in orbit, NASA has been encouraging private companies to step up and build the ISS's replacement. Back in 2021, they awarded over $400 million in funding to three major projects, Blue Origin's Orbital Reef, NanoRack Star Lab, and Northrop Grumman Station. They also picked Axiom to start attaching commercial modules to the ISS in 2026, which will later separate into a standalone space station. And on top of that, NASA awarded $843 million to SpaceX to develop the U.S. deorbit vehicle, which will make sure the ISS can safely deorbit in 2031. But here's the twist. Even though those companies were handpicked by NASA and backed with hundreds of millions in funding, their projects haven't been moving as quickly as VAST's. This lesser-known private company is working on building the first-ever commercial space station with artificial gravity, a concept that's never been proven before. VAST was founded in 2021 by Jed McCaleb, a tech and crypto millionaire who's now turning his attention to space. Even without direct funding to develop its station, likely due in part to NASA's recent budget cuts, VAST still has a working relationship with NASA through a Space Act agreement under the Collaborations for Commercial Space Capabilities II program. NASA continues to support VAST with technical expertise, data, reviews, and even access to its facilities to help develop the Haven 1 and Haven 2 space stations. For example, just this past February, NASA helped test Haven 1's air filtration system at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. As part of that evaluation, the Haven 1 module was pressurized to 1.8 times the normal level, and according to the company, the structure held up just fine without any major issues. Then on July 12th, VAST announced they had completed qualification work on the power distribution unit for Haven 1. Only one final hurdle remains, the thermal vacuum check, which is expected to take place soon. Insights from all of these efforts are already shaping the design of Haven 2, the version they aim to scale into a massive outpost by 2028. But we'll get to that later, after we take a closer look at Haven 1. Haven 1 is VAST's very first prototype module, and it's already shaping up to take the company to a whole new level potentially even outperforming NASA's ISS, or China's Tiangong Station. The module is surprisingly roomy, measuring 4.4 meters in diameter, 10.1 meters tall, and weighing around 14 tons. It has an internal volume of about 45 cubic meters, roughly the size of a small bus. All of these specs are perfectly sized to fit inside the cargo fairing of a Falcon 9 rocket. From the company's promo video, you can tell the interior design is modern, sleek, and tech-forward, with a white and brown color scheme that's both eye-catching and clean. The interior was designed by Peter Russell Clark, a well-known designer who used to work at Apple. It strikes a balance between aesthetics and functionality, creating a warm and comfortable atmosphere. Inside, you'll find a hallway, sleeping pods, a shared living area, a lab, 
a workout space, a table, and even a cupola, a space-facing window just like the one on the ISS, perfect for taking in breathtaking views of Earth and beyond. On the outside, Haven 1 is equipped with solar panels, propulsion systems, avionics, and a docking port for the Dragon capsule. And speaking of Dragon, it's going to be a key part of this station. Once docked, the capsule stays connected and active, basically acting as a second module. According to VAST, the station can host a crew of up to four people for missions lasting up to 30 days. So, why are we talking about Falcon 9 and Dragon? Well, because they're actually key to getting Haven into orbit, and to helping VAST turn their dream into reality. VAST and SpaceX have been working closely together on this project from early on. Their initial agreement was announced in May 2023, outlining that SpaceX would use its Falcon 9 rocket to launch the Haven 1 space station into low Earth orbit, with a target no earlier than May 2026. But that's not all. SpaceX will also provide a Crew Dragon spacecraft for the VAST-1 mission, carrying four astronauts to Haven 1 for a stay of up to 30 days in orbit. There's also an option for a second crewed mission to the station, called VAST-2. On top of that, SpaceX is responsible for astronaut training, covering everything from Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon operations to emergency procedures, spacesuit use, and docking-undocking simulations with Haven 1 to ensure a safe return to Earth. SpaceX also plans to launch two Dragon missions to the International Space Station to support VAST's participation in NASA's private astronaut program if VAST gets selected. These missions would help VAST gain valuable experience with crewed operations, strengthen its ties with NASA, and boost its chances of competing in Phase 2 of NASA's commercial LEO destinations program, especially for Haven 2. With such strong backing from the world's leading private space company, there's little doubt that this project has a high chance of major success. And of course, SpaceX stands to benefit as well, not just financially, but also in terms of influence and potential access to VAST's future space station. And to make all of that happen, we'll need Haven 2, the most exciting part of this entire episode. The thing VAST believes can truly replace the ISS is Haven 2, a major upgrade over everything we've talked about so far. The company's CEO officially unveiled Haven 2 on October 14, 2024, at the International Astronautical Congress in Milan, Italy. It's essentially the next evolution of Haven 1, with key improvements in size, weight, and especially habitable space. The first launch of Haven 2 is planned for 2028 aboard a Falcon Heavy, but according to the company, the full station won't be completed until sometime between 2031 and 2032. That's because it follows a modular approach, much like the ISS, launching separate sections and connecting them in orbit through docking ports. They could end up connecting anywhere from four to seven modules, kind of like train cars in space, almost like something out of a sci-fi movie. But VASTA's ultimate vision goes even further. They're aiming to build a star-shaped orbital outpost, with eight symmetrical modules branching out from a central core. Just like the ISS, these modules would host labs, crew quarters, and power systems. Unlike the ISS, Haven 2 is designed not only for research, but also to be suitable for space tourism. According to the plan, one Haven 2 module with two docking ports will be launched first. Then, between 2028 and 2029, three additional modules will follow. After that, in 2030, the central core of Haven 2 will be launched. This core module will have a 7-meter diameter and come equipped with an EVA airlock, mainly used for cargo transfers. Once in orbit, the four previously launched modules will detach from their temporary configuration and dock to four ports around the central core. More modules will continue to be added over time. One of the outermost modules is expected to be fitted with a massive robotic arm to assist visiting vehicles like Crew Dragon with docking. The full station is expected to be completed by 2032. If VAST manages to pull this off, it could seriously challenge the dominance of any space station out there. Just to give you some perspective, the habitable volume of this station would be around 550 cubic meters compared to the ISS's 388 cubic meters. The pressurized area alone will exceed 100 cubic meters, and it'll easily be able to support a crew of up to 12 astronauts. The station will rotate four times per minute, and thanks to centrifugal force, it'll generate Earth-like gravity at both ends, 
while the center of the station will experience microgravity. But it's important to remember, artificial gravity is still just a concept. It's never been proven, especially not at this kind of scale. Interestingly, this bold idea comes straight from the mind of billionaire founder Jed McCaleb. VAST isn't relying on NASA funding or any government programs. That gives the company full control over its timeline and operations, avoiding the delays and restrictions that usually come with public money. This freedom allows VAST to move faster and stay focused on executing its plans efficiently, giving it a serious edge in today's rapidly growing space market. Meanwhile, many of VAST's competitors are facing serious challenges. Take Axiom Space, for example. Even after receiving over $100 million from NASA, they're now struggling with major financial issues and delays in their schedule. That raises questions about their ability to deliver on their goals and whether they're truly the ones to carry the ISS legacy forward. Then there's Sierra Space, originally partnered with Blue Origin to develop inflatable space modules. So far, they haven't shown much visible progress, and that lack of real results has cast doubt on whether they can actually pull off the bold plans they've talked about. So, what do you think? Will VAST be the company to build the first true replacement for the ISS? If you're excited about the project and rooting for SpaceX and VAST, drop a Go Haven in the comments. Now, it's also worth noting that VAST's Haven 2 isn't just aiming to replace the ISS, it's also poised to outshine China's Tiangong space station. Tiangong, with 150 cubic meters of habitable space and support for three to six astronauts, is a major step forward for China. But Haven 2 takes it much further, offering 550 cubic meters of space and room for up to 12 people. With the ISS heading for retirement, Tiangong might soon become the only space station in orbit, but its limited international access and closed approach make it a poor fit for the kind of global collaboration space research needs. That's where VAST steps in. Haven 1, expected in 2026, and Haven 2, aiming for completion by 2032, could ensure the U.S. and its allies maintain an independent low-Earth orbit platform and preserve their leadership in space.